Good morning, guys. I just got back from the grocery store. As you know, as you probably know, there's um, some crazy things happening in the world these days, and I'm not sure how long we're gonna be home for. So I went to the grocery store last week, and I did get a lot of the things we normally use, but I didn't get enough of everything we really need to have to be here for a little while. So I did have to go back out early this morning, um, and as you can see behind me, we don't have any countertops. Um, the guy is coming, that's installing them is coming this morning. So he will be here in like an hour. I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm gonna try to fit all of these groceries into our pantry. I got a lot of things we typically eat anyway, a lot of fresh foods. So the fridge is packed, it's crazy. the most packed our fridge has ever been of course we have some beer but our produce drawers like I just I packed them as much as I could my kitchen is a complete mess because I had to take everything out you know off of the countertops and out of some of the drawers in order to uh, prepare for him to come and install these counters today. I've mentioned this in a previous vlog, we are actually taking this island out, so that's why the counters are still on this one, and that'll be a project that we'll be doing next weekend, and I'll, I will be showing you guys that. Everything in our kitchen is disconnected right now. The sink, the dishwasher, um, garbage disposal, like none, none of that stuff works. So I'm trying to figure out how to make coffee like at the dining room table. Got some Blanchards, some of the best coffee in this area. Okay, I can do this day now. I'm gonna take one last look at this kitchen before he gets here. I was trying to clean under the sink because there's like a little spot where water had been sitting and mold was collecting, so I was bleaching it and I got bleach on my hoodie. The counter guy is still not here, but I've had time to um, take a shower and read all of the instructions on how to do this garbage disposal, so I'm feeling very confident about that. I even watched two YouTube videos on it, and to be honest with you, there's not a ton of information on garbage disposal insulation and there's not a ton of information about going from two drain holes in a sink to one, but I'm not gonna make videos about those things because I've never done it before and I'm honestly not 100% sure um, on everything that goes into it. But I think I have everything I need. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. There is no screws anywhere. I guess that's it. Okay. Oh, I see the counter guy pulling up. So apparently that took way longer than it should have because of our sink. So we have a cast iron sink and the guy that installed it said it just takes way longer. They had to actually build this frame under here under the sink to hold it. Um, but he was really kind enough to check to make sure that my giant faucet fit. It's just huge. I, we had to take the window sill out and everything to get it in here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out later. Um, but there it is, there everything is. Now I have to do the garbage disposal and I have to hook, back, uh, hook the plumbing back up. So wish me luck because I've never actually done this before. So I'm a little nervous right now. With everything going on right now in the world, I'm hoping that if I need anything from Home Depot that it's open because at this rate, um, things could change any minute. What a change in here though. It looks so good. I definitely need to paint my cabinets because they um, are not as white as the countertops. <laughs> they need to be painted anyway. That was my plan, but um, it just makes them look way worse than it did. 
and uh, I'm actually thinking about taking these cabinets out up here so I'm able to better visualize what I want this kitchen to look like now that the countertops are done. Okay, well I ran into an issue. So I'm, I got everything installed. I was getting ready to mount the garbage disposal and there's a big pipe in the way. Um, the drain pipe, let me show you guys. You can see that back there, but that thing is sticks out too far and it is way beyond my means to be able to fix it. So I actually have to hire a plumber. Luckily, I was able to get someone to come tomorrow. My friend Shelly, she's at o Oasis Home Spaces on Instagram. I'll, I'll tag her below. I'll link her below, but she's the one who's helping me with all of this. Somebody ran out of food. Hold on. How about a banana? Some banana? <clears throat> banana? So anyway, as I was saying, my friend Shelly, she's at Oasis Home Spaces. She does home design and she was able to hook me up with somebody who can come tomorrow morning at 11 and I am feeling so relieved because these are some crazy times. It's really not the time to have a plumbing disaster because a lot of things are kind of closing, shutting down, limiting hours and I was getting really, really concerned for a moment there that we were gonna be um, without a sink in our kitchen for like a month. So I'm hoping everything goes really smoothly tomorrow when they come and we have a garbage disposal hooked up to our sink and a working dishwasher, all of that. I'm like crossing my fingers right now. 11 o'clock tomorrow, can't come soon enough. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm just gonna try to relax because I've been super stressed ever since I ran into that issue. I actually went to Home Depot, talked to the people there, and it's not something I can take on myself. So I feel really glad that I made the decision to call the plumber, but um, it was just stressing me out. So I'm going to try to relax for the rest of the day and not do anything else because I just can't take it anymore. I was just getting ready to say good morning and I realized it's actually, um, almost three o'clock in the afternoon. It's been quite a day. I um, actually had a death in the family last night and I've been dealing with that as well as waiting for the plumbers to come this morning. They came, it was not an easy fix. I'm super glad that I knew when to stop and hire a professional. Um, but three hours later they did fix the sink and it's all good to go. Um, so I still need to put this window sill back in but so that was a little crazy but um everything is done and you can see under here i have a garbage disposal now and everything is all hooked up sink is beautiful i did have to get a different garbage disposal in there as well so i had a mowen uh, garbage disposal that i bought from home depot and the guy uh the plumber um basically was like these are just typically a little bit bigger than the Insincorator uh, brand. And he said that the Insincorator is actually a better garbage disposal anyway. So just a little tip out there for you guys. If you plan to um, replace your garbage disposal, just get the Insincorator, even though the Moen is a lot prettier. Um, so I'm, like I said, I had a death in the family last night and I am just having a really odd day. I've had people um, coming in and out of my house with the plumbers and everything. So I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. I'm just gonna clean the floors. Um, let me actually show you what I'm gonna use because I love this thing. It's a shark and it's a little dirty up there because I have it flipped over so you can see the bottom is actually clean where I'm gonna use, you can use both sides of that pad, but it, I'll link this below because this thing was such a good investment. It's a steam mop and it just gets the floors super, super clean with very little effort. The only pain in the butt thing about it is that you have to use distilled water in it, but I absolutely love it. And so I'm actually excited to use it right now. And with everything that's happening in the world, I just wanna make sure our floors stay really clean since Miles crawls on them. So yeah, I'm gonna clean the kitchen up and do that and uh, next time you guys see me, hopefully I will be putting in a backsplash and painting the cabinets. There is a lot, a lot, a lot more things to do in this kitchen. This is just the first step was the counters. I didn't expect to run into as many problems as I did, but um, hopefully we don't run into any major challenges as we continue this journey on our little kitchen renovation. But yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. 